Hey guys, Bullhorn Betty here. So this sheath, right? It's almost like the 911 call when it comes to Brian Koberger and the Idaho 4 case. If you guys are just tuning in and don't understand what the Idaho 4 case is, this is the murder of four University of Idaho students in their off-campus housing uh, at 1122 King Road. The victims were Maddie Mogan, 21 years old, Kaylee Gonzalez, 21 years old, Ethan Chapin, 20 years old, and Zana Kernodal, 20 years old. According to law enforcement, it appears that they were killed in the early morning hours of November 13th. And after diligent search, Brian Koberger became a top suspect on their list by around November 29th, 2022. There was a post uh, on Twitter related to Papa Roger from Jennifer Koffendoffer talking about potentially cracking the code, so to speak, of Papa Roger as to whether he is or is not truly Brian Koberger there to, um, you know, throw people off of the investigation through social media. I can't imagine that this is uncommon, that, that you know, that this is unheard of, so to speak. I believe that other victims, or excuse me, other criminals have uh, done this in the past where they use social media to kind of throw off uh, the people looking into the case, to throw off media, to throw off law enforcement. So it's not, um, it's it, it does happen. But in this case, I watched the whole Dateline NBC segment on this case uh, with Keith Morrison. And one of the revelations was whether or not uh, Brian Koberger potentially purchased this sheath uh, from Amazon. And, and the, the jaw-dropping part of it is he purchased it before he went to Wazoo. But I digress on the latter. Just the K-Bar knife and the sheath itself has always bothered me. There are two things that have really kind of bothered me about it. I knew early on something had to be at the scene for them to know that this was a large fixed blade knife. Because in my experience and understanding of this type of case and the heinousness of this case, they wouldn't have been able to tell exactly what type of instrument was used to carry out that crime without the what? The sheath. Papa Roger was the first one that brought up this sheath, which would make sense as to why they started looking for the knife before they got the autopsy back. But my question has always came down to whether Brian Koberger intentionally left the sheath at the residence. I've always thought, you know, because I thought that he intentionally went from Pennsylvania to Wazoo to carry this act out. I thought that he may have left that sheath behind to taunt law enforcement. And I'm not sure if that is true. It may just be, be what everybody says it is, that it was just he accidentally left it there by mistake. But then I thought I would assume there would have been more DNA on the item than just one small molecule of DNA left on the button of the sheet. So those are the reasons why I truly believe that the sheath was potentially left behind intentionally. But I have to question my theory because nobody's really talked about that. I haven't really heard law enforcement um, or our, our YouTubers that were pr previously law enforcement or our Twitters, you know, from um, law enforcement or FBI or anything really talk about why they don't believe it was left there intentionally. Everybody's been talking about that they believe it was left there unintentionally. I'm interested in whether they believe it was there intentionally. I do. And then, therefore, it makes me wonder, did he purchase the sheath separately from the knife? And you will see in this clip uh, that's going to precede what I'm saying here, you will see those two items num numbers listed. 
So just let me know what you think about this. Here is the clip now. So here is something uh, that was interesting um, that came on Twitter. This was a couple days ago. Jennifer Koffendoffer, uh, for months I've tried to crack the Papa Roger code. Boy, do I miss subpoena authority. My tweet tell the story. There have been five issues uh, that were bothersome uh, that I've touched on since February. Um, but anyways, it was, uh, this was not, this was something I just responded to, to Jennifer Koffendoffer. And I just basically said, I watched the Dateline piece. The sheath has always bothered me. So upon a cursory review of Amazon, it appears the K-Bar knife comes with a generic sheath or none. Did he specifically buy the U.S. Marine Corps to leave it, like the sheath? I guess I didn't write that in there. What if he intentionally left it? The DNA was such a small amount. And what I was trying to say there is that the DNA uh, was such a small little dot that they just happened to find on the button of the sheath. Is it possible that Ryan Koberger actually had cleaned that so he could leave it to throw off investigators or taunt the investigators, so to speak, which I've heard about that, in, you know, in cases previously. And so uh, Stephanie uh, wrote back and, and said, you can buy a U.S. Marine uh, Corps knife and sheath together. Uh, it was there uh, before all this, still is now just lower in the search, probably because of the people bought one after the murders to use it in their post. Potentially that could potentially make sense. But my response here um, was then why are there two different numbers on the search warrant? And, and, and this was when I was writing it out, I, I hadn't looked at the search warrant. I was just purely going off of memory. And I even said, if I remember correctly, there were two different inventory numbers, one for the knife and one for the sheath. And then I stopped myself and I said, you know, is that accurate? Did I do that? So then I went back and looked at the warrants and sure enough, I did find it. And so I was able to attach it to uh, this particular response. Um, and I, this is definitely up for interpretation. Definitely interested in, in what your thoughts are uh, related to this uh, search warrant. But it specifically talks about an ASIN number B001H53Q6M, which is the K-Bar full-size U.S. Marine Corps fighting knife. But they also put a different um, serial number down below, and that was the ASIN number B000MAZIA0. And that was for the K Bar 1217S leather sheath. U.S. Marine logo. So just curious, did they go together? Uh, were they purchased separately? Did the, um, did the K-Bar knife come with a generic sheath or no sheath at all? Uh, was it purchased brand new? Was it purchased used? Which that would have an effect on it too because you'd be buying somebody else's sheath that they may have had specially made or something like that. But it seems like this uh, U.S. Marine logo insignia uh, sheath is uh, frequently sold online. So I would definitely... Um, you know, it, it definitely appears that it could go one way or another, be sold with the knife and be sold separately. So I'm really curious about this. This this sheath um, has had us all a little perplexed uh, early on. And it goes kind of back to the whole, um, you know, Jennifer Koffendoffer and her um, going through the Papa Roger stuff up here. Why? because who was the first one that broke the potential for the sheath? You guessed it, Papa Roger. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. It was just interesting information that I thought you might um, find interesting. Check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless each and every one of you. Until next time, please be kind to one another.